back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. And if you purchase a brand new Fire Stick, this video is going to show you how to unbox, show you everything that comes inside and what it does, and how to properly install it onto your television. For those of you that get past this video and it properly install into your TV, if you need help with the initial setup on how to connect to your Wi Fi, which Wi Fi to connect it to, how to register it to your Amazon account and how to go through the initial setup and you definitely want to check out this video here or you're going to find the link in the description. So now let's get started. First thing I want to show you guys is how to unbox a brand new Fire Stick. Now this is a brand new Fire TV Stick 4K Max but again it will work for any Fire Stick that you purchase. It comes with the same stuff inside and it hooks up exactly the same way. So unboxing it. It may be silly for some of you but I do see some of you struggle opening a box you rip this thing apart so I'm gonna show you the proper way of doing it so you don't have to have a big headache and it's super simple just look behind the box you're gonna see this little strip here that has arrows going in one direction all you do is grab the end of that strip and pull it peel it right off and by doing so the box opens right up that's it that's all there is to it guys so now you know how to open your brand new fire stick without having to rip the box apart now let's take a look at everything that you get inside this box here it is. You get two AAA batteries. You get an HDMI extender, very important. You get USB cable, you get the Fire Stick, the power adapter, and the remote control. So now let's talk about what's inside the box. The first thing, besides the batteries that are obvious, I wanna to talk to you about the HDMI extender, which is this right here. Now, why do you need this right here? This is for hard to reach HDMI inputs on your television it could be because your wall your TV is wall mounted or because it's just the way the TV is made the fire stick by itself won't fit into that HDMI now the one thing the most important thing that I can tell you guys is not to force a fire stick into an HDMI that you're having a hard time putting in for two reasons number one you can damage the fire stick okay number two you can damage the HDMI input on your TV and that's not gonna be a cheap fix because the HDMI is all part of your motherboard on your television and if you mess that up, replacing that HDMI input, it's, it's gonna get costly, especially if you have a big screen television. Probably be cheaper to buy a new one than to fix that thing. So I don't want you to go through that problem. This is why it comes with an extender and, and all you do is it plugs in one way to the HDMI on the, on the Fire Stick push it in as hard as you can you might have a little gap like you see there but as long as you push it and it doesn't go any further you're good and what it does it bends the neck bends in different directions making it easy to plug this to any HDMI on any television now things that I want to mention real quick you may have a television that that you don't need the extender for that it plugs in perfectly no problem I still recommend that you put the extender on there and leave it on there and still use it even if your fire stick is dangling off the back of the TV like this. Why? Because in the future, I'm sure that you're either going to swap your TV or you're going to want to plug this into a different television in the house or a friend's or family member's house. And then at that point, if you have taken this off because you didn't need it right now and you put it in a drawer and you forget where it is, when you bring this fire stick to another television, and it doesn't fit you're not gonna be able to use this thing or you might damage the fire stick or the HDMI uh, on the TV this is why keeping this extender on the fire stick itself it's not gonna hurt anything yes it'll be hanging even if you don't need it but when you do need it it's already there so now let's talk about the USB cable the USB cable is probably about three feet long and how it works is, this is how Amazon wants you to plug in their Fire Sticks, is it goes right into an outlet looking like this. So one end goes to the side of the Fire Stick. And if I show you guys the Fire Stick itself here, you're gonna see a little hole on the side of the Fire Stick. So you just look inside the side of the Fire Stick and underneath it, it should say power, okay? Now one end of the USB cable goes on there and the other end goes into the power adapter okay just like you would your cell phone and then into the outlet this is how Amazon wants you to do it and that's fine if that's what you guys want to do but for those of you that have wall mounted TVs or want to try a different way of powering your fire stick you can also use the USB on the television a side note is that some manufacturers reset those 
uh, USB inputs. What that means is that if you use that USB to power your Fire Stick, within 5, 10, 15 minutes, you may see that Fire Stick turn off and then turn back on. It's because the USB itself, it's set to turn off and turn back on by the manufacturer itself. This is not a setting that you can change on your television. It is what it is, guys. Some televisions do that. Some televisions will not power the Fire Stick at all because it doesn't have enough power to do it. And a lot of them will power the Fire Stick with no problem, okay? Next thing I wanna mention is if you do have the option of using the USB on your television and you have tested it with the cable that already comes with the Fire Stick and you know that it works, so the Fire Stick stays on, then I'm gonna give you some options on getting a shorter USB cable so you don't have a big wire hanging off the back of your television. Now, I will say that what I do with mine is I roll up my cables that came with the Fire Stick, put a little zip tie on it and only use the amount that I need. But if you guys wanna be cleaner about it in the back of your TV, I'm going to leave a few links to different cables that you can get, different size cables, that you can pretty much have it look just like this, right? Really short cable, nice and clean. I'll leave those links in the description of this video. Check that out, you'll be able to buy it from Amazon and they're gonna be extremely cheap if you guys wanna go that route. But I cannot stress enough to please, before you make that purchase, test it out with the cable that comes with the Fire Stick to make sure that your USB is not going to cause any problems with your Fire Stick with it turning off and turning back on or not turning on at all, okay? Thank you. Now, now that you have the Fire Stick completely plugged in and everything, now the next thing is the remote. The remote control. This is pretty much self-explanatory. You're just gonna pop out the back of it, put the batteries in, and you're good to go. But the only thing I gotta talk about is the fact that some of these are very difficult to take off the back end so you can put the batteries in, okay? Not all of them, just a few of them I've seen with that situ situation. Most of them are gonna slide right off, and how do you do it? Look at your remote, you're gonna put it upside down, and I'm gonna give you a back view of it. You're gonna put your thumb back here, and you're gonna push up, and it slides right up just like that. Some of them are very hard, so what you're gonna have to do is use both hands, put both thumbs on there, and put some pressure on it to slide it up, and it should slide up eventually. And usually you only have that problem the first time you get it out. After that, kind of, I guess it gets smoother and you can slide it in and out. But after that, you're going to go ahead and take your two AAA batteries and then go positive up on both of them. Put them in. To put the back cover back on, just put it in around right there and then slide it up and it locks right into place. And that's all there is to it. Remember that the next video is going to show you everything past this point. You know, once you got it plugged in how to connect to the Wi-Fi, register to your Amazon account, get through initial setup. Don't forget in the meantime to like this video, subscribe, comment, leave me your feedback. Let me know how it went. Did it work for you? Do you have any issues? I'd love to hear it, but subscribe to my channel. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. Until the next video, happy streaming.